Okay, guys, we're gonna show a couple of chokes over here. Um, I'm gonna show with a gi, and then Professor Ryan is gonna show uh, without the gi. Very similar choke. So here we are, he's on third over here. And I'm going kind of like for a clock choke, right? But maybe the guy's a little bit stronger than me, and I'm not gonna be able to do the clock choke very well. So I'm grabbing over here. Don't grab too high, okay? Grab a little bit low, because your wrist is gonna go right next to his neck over here. And I'm gonna step over his head and step over. And then I start rolling forward to get over here and choking. So now Professor is going to show a similar choke, no gi. So here are, same position. So now we're going to look at, say somebody shot right and we sprawled out right here, right? You can see the arm is still in, so that's good, because I'm going to go around the arm right here, under the armpit, and make my grip. So the arm that blocked the shoulder from getting the takedown and helped me with my sprawl is now going to go around the neck right here, right? And there's a bunch of different grips that you could use right here. The one I prefer is to try to get the blade of my wrist again into the neck, right? I'm going to take a big step, like I'm trying to step next to his knee on the back side of his knee right here, right? Other legs are going to do the same thing, and I'm going to sit down. If I can, I want to sit back and close my guard, right? And then I can start to pull, getting the choke. Guys, just so you understand, both these chokes, if you do the right thing, you will choke and not twist people's neck, okay? So on the collar, when you're grabbing right there, if you avoid moving your legs too much and you just use your wrist towards the neck, you will choke. Same thing when Professor showed over here, right, Professor? Yes, sir. Um, if you just use your wrist towards the neck, you're going to get the choke and you're not going to twist people's neck. So be careful when you're practicing, uh, especially when you're doing sparring, you're full of energy and trying your best. You, sometimes you lack of self-control. Self you might hurt somebody, so you got to do it the right way. Oof. Hey, guys, here's a couple more uh, details about the grip on the Peruvian necktie, right? So, we're going to do this with Professor's head up so you can see everything. So the arm that goes underneath of the armpit is going to come around. And look, the grip I'm going to use is here, turning palm away and this one palm up and clasping the fingers, right? Now my wrist is going to be more on the artery here. As I sit back to the choke, though, look, I want to pull this tight right here so that my wrist locks up with the artery here, right? And then as I apply the pressure, sitting back on the, on the top of uh, Professor's head right here, and pull this way, pull my elbow out, and it'll apply that pressure to the choke. <laughs>